Hello and welcome to week seven, what I'm calling writing week. Uh, during this week, your task is to take everything you've learned and put it to work by answering four of the seven essay questions that are given to you below. Um, so what you're going to do, compose your response for each using proper essay format. That's what you've learned in your comp classes, your English comp, your writing classes. Your response should include terms, composers, and or examples from our textbook. Make sure your response has that or you're not going to do well. Um, what's really cool about this assignment is that we all read each other's posts. We all, meaning you students, read each other's essays and you rate them according to a rubric. So if you scroll down and see, uh, you'll see a rubric for awarding a star rating. Check it out. To get five stars, which is an excellent rating, you're going to have to demonstrate you understand the material in question. So let's say you had um, question one. Question one is discuss how technology has impacted the composition and performance of postmodern music. So that assumes that if you look at the criteria for five stars, you have to demonstrate a thorough understanding of technology and the way it impacted how music is composed and how postmodern music was performed. So two things there that it wants you to address, the composition and performance of what? Postmodern music. So you've got to understand that. Use the textbook. Don't try to answer just right using something from the web because I'll know. Um, use appropriate, relevant, and compelling details if you want to get that excellent five-star rating. So don't just say, um, you know, don't just tell me a bunch of fluff. Use details and examples from those chapters on postmodern music, on postmodern composition, okay, performance and composition. Um, make sure you also demonstrate attention to detail in the way that it's organized. Um, are there paragraphs? Right? Are there introductory sentences to those paragraphs? Make sure you have that minimum content. Um, the content itself, is it appropriate to what the question is asking or is it off? If it's off base, then right away you're going to get bumped down to four stars and then lesser, lesser, lesser. Um, your choice of words, make sure I understand and your classmates understand exactly what you mean. So don't just say something in common language without explaining what you mean by that. Um, a lot of times people use that word <laughs> a lot. What does that mean? How much? To what degree? Don't just say a lot. Uh, be as specific as you can and you'll come out better in your ratings. Um, and then the biggest thing that's going to be the dividing line from five stars, four stars, you know, each level of star ratings is going to be uh, this last part of the criteria. Uses graceful language in order to get five stars. In uh, four stars, it um, uses straightforward language. So it's kind of, it just reads basic, like a laundry list. Um, so if you are one of those people that you know, you're, you're writing, you exhibit that sort of grocery list format, you're not going to do so well. You've got to write in elegant sentences to reach that five star rating. Um, for three stars, it uses language that generally conveys some meaning. You kind of knew what you were talking about. I, I had you for a little while and then I lost you. Uh, for two stars, uh, uses language that sometimes makes it difficult to understand what your tr what your point is. So if you ever, when you're reading a classmate's post and you have problems understanding what they're trying to say, it's probably a two star rating right out of right out of the gate. And then one star, hopefully, um, there aren't that many people that get this. But if you happen to not meet the criteria for two stars. I will ask you to rewrite and submit your essay in order to receive a, a grade. So you will have a chance if you if you fall into that category of one star rating, um, I'll allow you to, to rewrite it and resubmit it. That way you learn, that way your writing gets better in this class. So that's a little bit about uh, week seven, the writing week. 
what we're going to do. You have to comment and rate, again, five, five of your classmates' essays according to this rubric. So use this rubric, have it open while you're reading those essays, and just go with your gut. Um, if at any time they hit something on the four stars, then go with the four star rating. Uh, if, there were, if they were in five, but then they showed uh, something else, like a level three, um, used language that generally conveys some meaning, guess what? They get bumped uh, to three. So, you know, I will go back once all the star ratings have been assigned from classmates. I go and I grade them separately. So, um, so there are two ways we approach this. You guys generate ratings, star ratings, and then once that time limit has been reached, then I go through and I award you a score based on this same thing. So you can see what your classmates thought of your writing and you'll see what I thought of your writing. And I think that'll make us much better at writing, uh, much more effective rather, at writing for the Enjoying Music class. Have fun with this. Uh, please be respectful in the comments you leave to your classmates. And um, you know, if you happen to leave something, uh, please be very mindful of what you say and sensitive uh, as, as to what you say for your classmates. You want to leave positive, meaningful feedback. That's what makes us better writers in this class. Positive, meaningful feedback. And then leave your star rating. All right. Good luck.